fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Faster, boy, faster! I will fill the The fluid blackness of a moonless night formed an ideal background for the group of horsemen that reined up sharply on the hill overlooking the border town of Santos. Oh, 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 oh. It was a motley and ill-assorted crew. Turk, Cheeto, Gus, Doc, and the two Chandler boys, Bill and Johnny. Six outlaws with but one thing in common. Their obedience to the commands of their leader. An ugly, misshapen man known only as the Whistler. In years gone by, many an outlaw, an honest man too, had heard the soft, monotonous whistle a few seconds before death had struck from the muzzle of one of the Whistler's guns. It served the same purpose as the dry and toneless rustle of a rattlesnake. Well, there it is, you hombres. Town of Santos, ready and waiting for us. <clears throat> What's the matter with you? Speak up. Go on, David, speak up. I've got nothing to say, Doc, that you haven't all heard before. I just think we'll be taking too big a chance if we try to crack that bank in Santos. We're doing all right running horses across the border. Why should we try something that's, that's right? Shut up, Johnny. I figured you'd want to be in on it. Especially if you knew the name of the sheriff in this cow town. What do you mean? The sheriff of Santos is an hombre named Martin Todd. Todd? The same sneaking lawman who shot down your old man in El Paso five years ago. Is that right, Bill? That was his name. Martin Todd. Thought you and your kid brother promised your pa you'd cut this critter down first chance you get. We did. Well, he's rotting the law down there in Santos. Still got any objections to blowing that safe? All I want is to get within gun range of that Todd critter. Let's go. Kind of figured you'd change your mind. All right, this is the payout. We'll circle the town right from the south. Tuck you and Cheeto and Bill spring the back door of the bank. Gus has a blasting powder. He'll blow the safe. You three help him. See, si. right, Doc, you and young Johnny cover the front of the place. Be ready to help the boys when they come out. Quite right. Sure. I'll keep a lookout across the street in front of the feed store. As long as you don't hear him from me, everything's all right. You understand? See. Si. Right. All right, let's ride. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this bank they're talking about? Up ahead, the right side of the street. We better leave the horses here. Yeah, come on. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Cafe. 
cafe right across the street next to the feed store. Too dark to see. Wonder if the whistler's over there. Sure he is. He's got a spotted, don't worry. Uh, dark inside the bank, too. Can't see Bill or Turk or Cheeto. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? Listen. Whistler. That means... Somebody's coming. We've got to warn the boys. Guess there must be somebody coming down the street. It wouldn't be whistling unless there is. They want to save. It's too late now. I'll break the glass in that window. Warn the boys. Yeah. Hey, what's going on over there? Bill, Turk, see you. Come on. That explosion was in the bank. Al Hoots must be blowing the safe. Sheriff's in the cafe. I'll get him. Hey, Sheriff, bank robber. Come on, Bill. Where's the whistler? Don't worry about that. It's every man for himself. Come on. There they are, Sheriff. Front of the bank. Let him have it, men. Cut him down. Street's blocked. Got to shoot our way through. Come on. Where's Bill? Where's my brother? Haven't seen him since the explosion. Ow! Hey, what's the matter, kid? You hit? Now, Doc, it? come on. I'll make it some way. It was less than an hour later that Dan Reed urged his horse along a trail south of Santos. Earlier that day, he'd ridden to a nearby county seat to pick up mail. Now, although it was almost midnight, he was hurrying back to camp, where the Lone Ranger and Tonto were waiting for him. Come on, Victor. On, boy. Hey, wait! Bring it up! What the... Oh, oh Victor, oh, boy. Wait a oh, minute! Boy. Hit the dirt, shorty. This is where you get off and I get on. A gun? Well, you... Yeah, I hate to do it, kid, but I need transportation. I need it bad. Come on. Yeah, wait a minute. I don't know who you are, and naturally with that gun, you can steal my horse if you want to. You're wasting time. Now get off of there. I can see there's something wrong with your right arm. Well, you can hardly hold that gun straight. An accident. I'll have it fixed. Uh, if you try to ride picture that way, you won't get very far. If you want to get to a doctor, I'll take you. We can ride double. Oh, might not be such a bad idea at that. Make better time. Sure we would. Well, you might not like the place I'm going. The kind of friends I've got. Well, what difference does that make? You're hurt and you have to get home. I'll help you. Here, put your foot in the stirrup and give me your left hand. Well, I'll... Now, but... I saw a kid like you before. Pull a gun on you no, and... Forget it. Here, give me your hand. Uh, uh, now, which way do we head? Straight west. In the Mesquite Valley. Hold tight. Come on, Victor. That's it. The cabin right over there with a the light in it. Oh, oh, Victor, oh, boy. Johnny. Cheeto. Where's Bill and Doc? Inside. Who's this kid? Uh, a friend of mine. Are you hurt? My horse was shot. I'm all right. Just a scratch. Bill, is he... Uh, Doc is with him. You better hurry. I'll be right back, kid. Wait for me. Sure. Bill. I'm sorry about Bill. It couldn't be helped. <sighs> Bill. Bill, it's me. Johnny. This is the wind-up, Johnny. That lawman, Martin Todd, beat me to the showdown. Just like he did with Pa back in El Paso. Oh, no, Bill, it's not... Let me finish. Not much time. Johnny, promise me something, will you? Anything, Bill. For my sake and for Pa. Get that badge to her, Martin Todd. Promise me you'll put a slug through that sneak I and... I promise. I'll get Todd if it's the last thing I ever do. Thanks, Johnny. I... Bill. That sorrel, Johnny. He's gone. Hey. I... Posse! The trail is coming up on both sides. Quick, cut that light. We're getting out of here. How can we leave Bill here without... You heard me, Sawbones, move. I'm not going to leave. I'm staying with my brother. That's what you think. Cheeto, put out the light. Ah, see? Now listen to me, all of you. The law's closing in. There's only four of us left. Our best chance is to ride through them. If we make it, we'll meet in Cedar Breaks, other side of the ridge. Now, the kid waiting outside. He come with Johnny. What? Who's that? Well, I had to get here some way. Waylaid this kid on the trail. All right, I don't know who he is, but he goes with us. Remember, don't any of you try to run out on me. You all know enough to hang us all. Don't worry about Bill, Johnny. The law can't hurt a dead man. We get split up, lay low, and wait till you hear from me. All right, Cheeto, lead off. See? Hey, Shorty. Yeah? You didn't ask for this kid, but I guess by now you've got it figured out. Our only chance of getting out of here alive is to ride through those lawmen. I understand. Come on. Uh, 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 there goes Doc Cheeto in the whistle. Follow them. Head south. No. 
Going back the way we came. Keep your head down and hang on. Come on, Victor. Oh, oh, oh. Golly, he's been shot. Faster, Victor, faster. Worried about Dan, Toto. He should have been back over an hour ago. Ah, uh, maybe him wait to moonrise. Find trail better. No, I don't think that... Listen. Not Victor. Dad. Right. Can he pass? Oh, oh, Victor. Oh, boy. Oh. Dan, what's the matter? Who's that you're holding in the saddle? An outlaw. I don't know whether he's dead or alive. But I do know there's a sheriff's posse right behind Posse? Me. You see, it happened this Never way. Never mind. That... You can explain later. The important thing to do now is lose that posse. Otto, uh, help Dan with this wounded man. Here, Silver. Put out the fire and lay low. Steady, big uh, And what you do, Kimasabi? Try to lead the posse away from here. Come on, Silver. Aided by the speed and stamina of his great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger was able to elude the lawman's posse and return to the camp, where Dan was helping Tonto to dress the bullet wounds of Johnny Chandler. And later... Feeling better now? What the... Mast. Who are you? Who's the redskin? He's the man who dressed your wounds and brought you through a bad fever. Ah, uh, you get well plenty fast now. Wearing a mask. Must be all hoots. Where's the kid I was riding with last night? I'm right here. It wasn't last night. It was three nights ago. You've been very sick, Johnny. How do you know my name? People sometimes do a lot of talking under the influence of a high fever. Oh. I guess you know a lot about me. About Bill and Doc and the Whistler. With what you've said and what Dan has told me, I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> Lucky thing I fell in with Al Hoots like you three. Instead of lawmen. Yes, it is. You'll have your strength back in a couple of days. Are we anywhere near the town of Santos? Just a few miles away. Good. I got a job to do down there. Kill Sheriff Todd? Keep a promise you made to your brother? How did you... Forgot. I must have talked about that, too. Johnny, have you ever considered the fact that two wrongs don't make a right? That killing Sheriff Todd won't bring your brother or your father back to life? <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a... <laughs> yeah, that's kid stuff. It's the truth. Your brother was an outlaw. So was your father. There's always a bullet at the end of an outlaw trail. Say, what kind of talk is this? You're an outlaw, ain't you? I promised Bill I'd gun that Todd critter. And I will. Just as soon as I can walk out of here and meet him. I like you, Johnny. There's good stuff in you. You'd only lose that warped idea about revenge. I'm killing Todd the minute I see him. Nobody's going to stop me. Maybe. I have an idea. If you could only see the other side, you might... What's that? Oh, nothing. Otto says that by tomorrow, you'll be strong enough to take a little walk. Why don't you walk over by the bluff? You uh, can rest there. Sure, why not? The sooner I get my strength back, the sooner I meet that lawman, Todd. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. To continue our story. The following morning, Dan Reed accompanied Johnny Chandler on a short walk to the bluff overlooking the town of Santo. Yeah, that's the place he was telling you about. Right near the bluff. Sure. Hey, why don't you walk over there with me? I can't. Tell on, I've got some work to do. See you later. All right. <laughs> yeah, that Dan's a funny kid. <laughs> so is the engine and the mass critter. To think of it, I can't figure any of them out. <laughs> I guess they're just... Hello that. there. What the... Girl. What are you doing here? 
Oh, I come up here often just to sit on this big rock and enjoy the view. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm glad to have company, someone to talk to. Do you live around here? Oh, I'm yeah. making camp with some friends of mine about a half mile down the slope. Oh, won't you sit down? Well, yeah, I guess so. Oh, I'm sorry. This rock is hardly big enough for two people to sit on, is it? <laughs> well, there's a bigger one right over there. Come on. No, I, I guess I'd better not. Well, what's the matter? You're not afraid to sit alongside of me, are you? Of course not. Well, then, come on. I can't. You see, I can't walk. Can't walk? I had an accident a few years ago. My legs won't move and... Well, if you can't walk at all, how did you... Oh, my dad brings me up here in a buckboard almost every day. Then he comes back to take me home. Gee. Sure, sorry. Oh, the only thing to be sorry about is that I'm not sitting on that big rock, so you'd have a seat, too. Oh. I'm not very strong. I've been sick lately. But I'll bet I could carry you that far. Oh, would you? Here we go. There. Thank you. This is much better, don't you think so? Yeah. What's your name? Laura. Laura Todd. Todd. You any kin to... My father's the sheriff in Santos. Do you know him? No. No, I don't. Oh, you'd like Dad. All men do, except outlaws. I suppose so. Uh, this accident of yours, you, you mind telling me when and how it happened? Oh, of course not. It was five years ago in El Paso, Texas. Dad was the sheriff down there, too. One day, some outlaws held up the bank in broad daylight. Mother and I were right across the street sitting in a buggy. When Dad and his deputies discovered the holdup, there was a lot of shooting. Bullets were flying everywhere. What happened? Oh, Mother was killed. And one of the outlaws' bullets lodged in my back. Ever since then, I... You haven't been able to walk. Gee, that's awful. Oh, it's not so bad. Since we moved to Santos, Dad brings me up here almost every day. And I have lots of friends that I meet here. Tell me one more thing, Laura. Oh, what is it? Did your pa ever tell you who those outlaws were uh, on that bank job in El Paso? Were any of them killed? Well, just one. I think Dad said his name was Chandler. It was a gang. The leader was a man who always whistles. Whistler? Yeah, I see. See what? Something a friend of mine has been trying to tell me for the past two days. Well, don't be so solemn about it. That reminds me. I've told you my whole history, and I don't even know your name. It's Johnny. Johnny what? Why, Johnny Jones. Johnny Jones. I like it. <laughs> Why, here's Dad. I didn't expect to see him. Oh, so oh, there. Oh, there. Uh, you can fetch you home a little early, Laura. I've got Dad, some... Dad, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Johnny Jones. Well, glad to know you, son. Yeah, I... I... Thanks. Say, your face looks kind of familiar. Have I ever seen you before? I don't think so. You must be mistaken, then. Just a minute, Laura, and I'll... Uh, let me, Mr. Todd. I'll carry you. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> well, I've always figured that Laura had a lot of different friends she meets up here in the bluff. But you're the first one I've ever seen. You'd be surprised, Dad. <laughs> well, if they're all as nice as this young fella, I've got no objections. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Bye, Johnny. Bye. How can an hombre be as dumb as I've been all these years and go on living? Sign up in Tano? Uh, young fella, come now. Good. Well, Johnny, did you uh, have a good walk? Yeah. Sure learned a lot of things. Is that so? Met a girl out there on the bluff. Laura Todd, sheriff's daughter. Yes, I know. Did you uh, meet the sheriff, too? Yeah. And I didn't... I thought you'd change your mind. I've had everything figured wrong. 
All wrong. How can I... There's uh, a friend of yours over there, Johnny. He's been waiting for you. Hello, Johnny. Doc, <coughs> well, where'd you come from? The uh, Indian and Dan Reed found me yesterday morning hiding out east of here. Doc, I don't understand. You've shaved. You've got on a clean shirt and a new suit. That was their idea, too. Maybe I can explain, Johnny. Dr. Barrett has decided to settle down here in Santos. The town needs a doctor. I've uh, done some investigating, Dr. Barrett. I've discovered that not so many years ago, you were one of the leading surgeons in the East. That was before I... I mean, liquor is called... It uh, was before you met the Whistler. Now you're through with him forever. I hope so. And the best way to regain your surgical skill is on a job where you can't afford to fail. I don't understand. There's a girl in Santos, daughter of the sheriff. Because a bullet is lodged somewhere in her back, her legs are paralyzed. She can't walk. Laura. She needs your skill. Would you look at her? I'll do everything I can. I'm sure you will. Dan. Yeah? Take Johnny and the doctor to the sheriff's house. Talk to Laura first. Explain it to her. Then you can talk to the sheriff. Please, Dad. Let's do it. All right. And may heaven bless you, Doctor. You too, Johnny, for making this possible. I... There's something you and Laura ought to know, Sheriff. About me, I mean. I'm I... sure it can wait till later. Let's help Laura now. What do you need, Doctor? Every lamp in the house. Bring them into the kitchen. I'll need all the light I can get. Right away. Come on, Johnny. Aren't you going to help? Oh, sure. Sure I am. Sit down, Johnny. I know how you feel, but there's nothing else we can do. It's up to the doctor now. Doc will do it. I know he will. He's got to. He's got... Say, what's that? Sounds like somebody whistling. Yeah. Maybe it is. I'll go see. Wait, why should you go? Because nothing. Nothing's going to interfere with what Doc's doing. You wait here, Sheriff. I'll take care of it. Johnny. Cheeto. I thought I heard the... You did, Johnny. I'm right here. I... I... What do you want? So you and Doc are going to double-cross me, huh? No, we're not. Cheetos had you covered. He saw you camped with those owl hoots up by the bluff. Saw you talking to the girl, getting chummy with the sheriff. Going to tell everything you know, is that it? Well, I'm going to plug you and then go in there and take care of that sawbones. Put up your hands. No. No, you can't disturb Doc now. He's busy. Yeah, not too busy for a bullet. You can gun me if you want to, but please, please stay out of that house. Turn around and keep your hands up. I don't care what you do to me, Start but... Start walking. When you get out there about ten feet, I'm going to give you the same thing I gave your brother. Bill, you mean you... Sure, I gunned him. Figured he'd stop Lawman's bullets. When they missed, I didn't. Now start walking. Now, you dirty double crossing little. Oh! What the? Don't worry, Johnny. I just shot his gun away. Hello, get Cheeto's gun. Uh, no, get, him. get him. Get him. What's this? What's going on out here? Keep them covered, Johnny. Turn them over to the sheriff. Sure, but. Adios. Come on, Toto, Dan. Johnny, what's the meaning of this? It's the Whistler, Sheriff. The Whistler and Cheeto. Yes, you're right. But how did you. And there's something else I might as well tell you right now. Doc and me are the other two outlaws you're looking for. Johnny, Sheriff, it's all right. I'm sure it is. Thank heaven. Yes, yeah, she's coming out of the chloroform now, and I'm sure she'll be able to... What is Doctor, this? Doctor, I'm already in your debt, but will you do something else for me? Of course, but... Here, hold a gun on these varmints while Johnny and I go in and see Laura. Sure. Come on, Johnny. Dad, Johnny. It's all right, Laura. You'll be able to walk. The doctor just told us. I know. He told me. Isn't it wonderful? Where have you two been? Just outside. Nothing important. Sheriff, you don't seem to understand what I've been trying to tell you. 
Aura might as well hear it now as any other time. My name's not Jones, it's Chandler. I'm one of the Whistler's gang. So is Doc. Hmm? <laughs> is that all you've got to say? But don't you understand? I knew all that this afternoon. That boy, Dan Reed, brought me a note explaining everything. I didn't shoot your paw in El Paso, Johnny. It was an outlaw's bullet that downed him. But I... I'm still an outlaw. A wanted outlaw. Well, not that I know of. And I'm the sheriff who sent it. Well, I... This note you got. Who sent it to you? I don't know. It just said from a friend of Laura's. That was good enough for me. I know who it was, Dad. Who? The Lone Ranger. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.